For this example, we're going to look at how to use the left, right, and concatenate functions. And we're going to do this through an example looking at some data. So we've been given a file that has times listed in it. Now these times were just typed in as numbers. They weren't formatted with a colon. So we can see 341, someone just typed in the numbers 3, 4, and 1. 1237 was just typed in 1237, and so on. This could be a very long list of time. We see we have a smaller set here, but it could be a lengthy list. So doing this manually could be very, very cumbersome and difficult to do. So what we, one way we can use the functions I mentioned is to try to separate the hour from the minutes and then bring everything back together. So let's start with the, the hour. So we can use the left function to say this equals left parentheses the cell we want a2 and we want the first digit so we get the three there. Now the issue we come across is that when we drag this down we're going to have an issue when we have an hour that actually has two digits. So we need to add a little more detail in this equation. So we're going to use that based on a, a length function. So what we want to say is if the length of the whole time, so there's a length function in Excel, LEN. So if LEN of our cell of interest, A2, equals 3, that means it's only a one-digit hour, that we want just the first digit. So we want left A2, comma 1. And if that's not true, if the length is not equal to 3, that means it must equal 4. And so we want then the, the two digits on the left, so both the digits to get the hour. So equals left A2, and we want both those digits, and that will be our equation. So now when we drag this down for our two-digit hours, we're going to get both of those digits. And so that's our next is minute. And as long as everything is, is formatted correctly and, and input correctly, all of these should have two digits in the minutes. So we want the from the right of what's in cell A2, and we want two digits, two characters, and dragging that down. So now we've now split the hours from the minutes, and our final step is to put them back together. So our final time, or maybe we can call this corrected corrected time. And as I mentioned, we're going to use the concatenate function for this last one. So concatenate is going to bring together multi text from multiple cells. So the first piece of information we want is the hour. So we're going to click on cell B2. And then we're going to use a comma to separate our next character. We're going to add a colon next. So we put quotes around the colon and then another comma, and then cell C2. We're going to close our parentheses and hit return. And we can drag this down. And now we've combined the hours and minutes to come up with a corrected time in the format that we're most used to seeing for time. And we can do a little bit of formatting if we want to um, to make this table look a little more consistent. And here's our final table and again that's using both the left and the right functions of Excel as well as concatenate.